Oh, here we go. Here we go, here we go. That's exactly what we're looking for. Have a look at that little guy. That is a mole cricket. Goodness, these guys are freaky. What's going on guys? I'm Zachary Gray, and tonight we're going to be out here looking for something called a mole cricket. Now they are a very unique insect. They look very weird, and they're nothing like your average cricket. They're very common, and we shouldn't have a hard time finding one. Let's go. Oh, uh, here we go. Here we go, here we go. That's exactly what we're looking for. I knew it wouldn't take me long to find one of these little boogers. Have a look at that little guy. That is a mole cricket. Goodness, these guys are freaky. He's got two little hands out there, and he was crossing pretty quickly. That's the best way to find these guys. They come out on the concrete at night after eating a bunch of grass, and uh, they're spending all of their days out underground digging. They've got these tough, tough claws for digging through the dirt, and oftentimes they'll be right under the surface in little tiny tunnels, and they're rooting around for grasses and all kinds of stuff like that. They mostly eat vegetation, even though they're a little bit freaky looking, and they've got these big, big mandibles. They mostly just eat roots and grass. Same thing goes for the babies. When they lay their eggs underground, the babies will hatch, eat all kinds of different roots and stuff until they grow to this. This is an adult mole cricket. Now mole crickets can look pretty threatening. They've got these huge pinchers and big old mandibles in the front of their face, but uh, they are not threatening by any means and they're actually perfectly safe. The only thing that can feel pretty weird is if you grab them, they claw away and it's really tough. So watch, if I put them in my hand right here, they normally try to like dig out. Nah. Alright, well he's not going to do that for me, but if you have a look at those little pinchers, this is why they're called a mole cricket. Those little hands are built exactly like a mole. Moles have these huge broad hands for digging tunnels, and that's how mole crickets are. Now this is a cricket species. It's not like your typical house cricket or field cricket. It has a long body, and they get about an inch long when they're full grown. This one's not fully grown, but uh, this would be considered an adult cricket. Now if you look at their back there, they actually have little wings and at nighttime to move around a little bit quicker they'll actually sometimes fly straight up and you can find these guys around lights in different areas like that but I found that this is the best way to find mole crickets so it's walking little pathways like this and just searching them out really it's a very unique bug species lots of different things will eat these guys wolf spiders green snakes any kind of bug eating species will normally eat a mole cricket they don't have any other good defenses other than the fact that they're really fast diggers in fact, oftentimes you can lift something up, see a mole cricket, and they'll go straight underground. They're really, really quick. Now mole crickets are covered in thousands of tiny, tiny little hairs that help to keep dirt out. And I'm not sure if we're even going to be able to see them on the camera, but they really, really help their immune system with keeping out bacteria and germs while they're digging because these guys spend almost 100% of their time underground digging. Their little claws have all these little prongs on them and they're super strong. They can dig out of almost anything and if you pick them up you'll notice they start to try to dig through you. So like if you cover them up they start instantly digging which is really really wild. They've got huge huge eyes and that's for seeing well in the dark. Most bugs won't have big eyes like that and uh, when they are normally they're going to be like compound eyes. Now they've got those little antenna right out front right there, and that's for sensing everything around them. It actually senses chemicals in their environment, and it's very, very helpful when they're trying to get around through different areas. And oftentimes these guys will get flushed out during the day by water or any kind of other liquid or anything that's poisonous to them underground. And oftentimes, even if you just turn on your garden hose, these guys will start coming out from the ground to keep from drowning because they live right under the surface and uh, any kind of water that floods their tunnels, they get out of there really, really quickly. Now, like all insects, they have three body sections and six legs, so they're pretty basic from most standards, but they've got those two huge claws in front. And that's probably my favorite thing about these crickets. And they've got big, big eyes, two little antenna, and uh, they're just a really unique looking species. They're very bizarre and kind of freaky looking. And they're freaky to hold too because they're trying to claw away and uh, get away from you there. So really cool cricket to see out here. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time. All right, see you little buddy. Gotta let him go right here. There you go. Boop, boop, boop.